Original flavor, T Strong is still with us. He's an AR. And uh, Ski went on to have his own label, and he's, you know, I think he's down south producing beats. So, um, you know, overall, it's a pretty positive experience, I'd have to say. Very learning experience, original flavor, you know. Jay Z did his first uh, single with the original flavor, Can I Get Open? So that was pretty far back. I mean, the reason why I had to start a record company, because as a manager, I couldn't get the record company to do what I wanted them to do. So I figured I might as well start my own record company, and then I could kind of work in the, the best interest of the artist. So, you know, our atmosphere was always that of a management company, you know what I'm saying? Because we always worked on the behalf of the artist as opposed to the exploitation of the artist. And, um, you know, it's basically the same thing. I actually wish that there were better managers out there because then it would make my job a lot easier. You know, I come across a lot of managers these days that just don't fight for their artist. And I remember back in the day I had to fight. It doesn't seem like it's being done. I wish somebody would fight me a little bit just to push my crew and push my, 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 my staff. But, you know, only thing difference is it was 20% of the artist's, 20% uh, 20, 20 of the artist's 10%. And now, you know, and when, you, when you own the company, you, you get to get 50% and pay the artist a royalty and you have some equity, you know. I mean, it was an everyday thing. I was in the label every day, you know. I had to make sure that everyone that was working, that my artist was a priority. Because, you know, at a major label, there's a lot of different artists. And, you know, the people working get a check regardless of whether they fail or succeed, you know, unless they do, you know, unless the label's doing miserably. But, um, you know, you just have to make sure that those people that are working in the label take your artist as a priority and that, you know, they're getting what they deserve. I'm an entrepreneur by nature, and when I first got into the music business, you know, what I wanted to do was do clothing, I wanted to do movies. And Jazz Digital. Yeah, I, didn't, that, I didn't know I was going to do that, that opportunity presented itself, but that's the rock box. It's actually uh, rock digital, and that's the rock box, and, um, you know, I, I feel like the music business isn't at the, the, the state it used to be in, and you have to find different ways to make money from the music. So we make the music, we, we have the content, so we might as well you know, find interesting ways to sell it, you know, and everyone else, like I said, is exploiting the culture, the music, the artists. We get to make it to where the artists make some money, um, you know, and, uh, you know, as far as Dash Films goes, I thought it's very important to me to make movies off of, based on actual experience and not, you know, advocating any kind of violence or any, you know, me misconceived prejudices about my culture. I wanted to make smart movies and then also I wanted to make movies outside of the urban culture just to show that an urban individual can have some kind of, um, affiliation and appreciation for the art of, of movie making so that's why I made movies like The Woodsman but I also make State Property Part 2 and you know I had to learn how to direct just because as a producer you know you have an invested interest in, in the projects and you hand it over to a director then it becomes his project you know so I wanted to uh, you know do a lot of different kind of things a lot of different d dynamics and do a lot of different businesses and just you know open all the doors for my culture. <laughs>